All right, I'm back. Um, so the, the last video cut out on me at the end, but I was basically done uh, talking. But basically, I got this uh, diagonal row done, and now I'm going to show you how I start the next row. So uh, what I do actually is uh, I take uh, my next LED. which is going to be blue and I don't really have a guide since there's no uh, bolt on this side which I could use if I had more bolts I would uh, do four bolts but since I have no guide what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull and I'm making sure I'm getting an extra bolt for my uh, LED on top here Basically, take my uh, thermal grease, put a little dab at the bottom of the star, and then I'm going to look at it from an angle, I'm gonna, and I'm going to line it up so it looks like it's lined up with this one right here this LED right here because I want these all to be even and then once I get that I can move my screw over which I need to loosen up a little bit Make sure I didn't move it out too much and I moved it a little bit. Alright. I'm gonna move my screw in. I screwed it in. Bring the screw over. And screw that in. Make sure it's lined up, make sure I'm happy with it. I think it looks good. And then I can start on top here. So I'll give myself a screw get my LED which is going to be a cool white scrape some of the flux off put a dab of thermal grease loosen up my uh, bolts a little bit Push it in there as close to the other bowl as possible because that's what my baseline, uh, that's how I space these LEDs out is based on the fact that I have two bolts hugging each other basically. And I'll show up a, a close up of this to show you what I mean. Um, get that one in. Bring this bolt over. Which having a little trouble. Okay. This one's being a little bit stubborn. And I think it's because I tighten this down too much. You should keep them loose so they can even each other out. Not so much tension on the LED star where it makes it hard to screw in the other one. And 
I'm just trying to get it straight here. And this is where the tedious part really kicks in. So uh, I got that timed in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down the line, move this bolt over, and just use this as a baseline to do my next uh, diagonal. And then I'll start with my next diagonal by doing the same technique I used here by just measuring up these two LEDs and then using the uh, the two bolts as my baseline. So uh, I'm going to work on this for a little bit and I'll show you what it looks like after I do a few rows.